everybody, it's me, Autistic Genius. Today we're talking about something that comes with autism, I believe, but may not come in the same way as it comes in other things, but let's be honest, when we connect with the ducks, it kind of means the same thing. This thing is called paranoia. It's a mental condition characterised by delusions of perse perse persecution of unwarranted jealousy or exaggerated self-importance, typically worked into an organised system. It may be an aspect of chronic personality disorder, drug abuse, or of a serious condition such as schizophrenia, in which the person loses touch with reality. Or, unjustified suspicion and mistrust of other people. I'm gonna go with the second one. Paranoia and autism, paranoia and autism, paranoia and autism. But you're walking down the street. And then, and you'll just be, do mind your own business, someone will just do like, just, someone will just be sat there and they'll just look at you like. And you look at them directly in the eye, like, you know, really like, you look at them, not that close, but you'll look at them, eye contact-ish, and you'll go, what do they want? Why are they looking at me? Why are they looking at me? And then what'll happen is, instead of going, oh, it's probably nothing, or they're looking at me because I've got this on, or they think this, or whatever, because you'll know straight away, you'll end up thinking of every possibility. And of course, these possibilities aren't good. They're horrible, so we think, oh my God, he thinks I'm weird. Oh my God, he can see my autism. Oh my God, my legs are too long. Oh my God, my nose is big. Oh my God, there's something on my shirt. My flies are undone. Ah! <laughs> Un Justified suspicion, mistrust of people. There's no reason to suspect that person. There's no reason to mistrust them. You don't even know them. They're just looking at you. Why? Why do we do that? The reason why I'm discussing this is... Now... I'm not going into specific details because it's not fair. Um, as you, some of you may be aware, I have a girlfriend. Ah, it's quite a recent thing. We've been out for about three or four months now. And basically... I sometimes find it hard to read her, like, emotionally, like, her facial expressions or, like, the tone of her voice. I misread it. And I will, like, if she, if I feel she's upset, it will, like, riz around my brain and it will just keep going and going and going. And... To the point where I'll literally be sobbing or like meltdown and I have to speak to her and ask her if everything's okay and she reassures me every time and she's awesome. Well that's all I've really got time for today on paranoia. Paranoia is a big subject. I want to hear more about some of the, maybe your experiences with paranoia or maybe at, in the comments Ask me loads of questions. Questions become videos. Comments become videos because they generate ideas. I want to be inspired by you all. So comment below of what you think and what you suggest about paranoia and all these wonderful other things that are related to autism. I'm Tom, autistic genius, and I'll see you later. Bye!